Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me. Hi everyone, I'm Lamar Townsend. I'm a tarot reader, a psychic and energy channeler, and an astrologer. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the to be announced movie, Scream 5. Hey, before we get the video started, I just wanted to let you know that I now have merch, merchandise. Check out my astrology t-shirt. It comes in different colors, not just green. Um, you can purchase it via the link below in the description box. There should also be a link in the comment section of this video. Uh, there should also be a merchandise section on my YouTube channel if you're looking at this on the computer. Um, but I designed this myself. You guys always compliment me on my logo. I took this picture myself. I designed, or I styled myself. I designed the background myself. Astrology over here. Psychic tarot readings over here in the background. But the best part about this t-shirt, y'all, is this. I am representing all of the signs. And I'm living for it, okay? <laughs> so... Get your astrology t-shirt merch in the comment section below, the link or the comment section below or the description box below or the merchandise section of my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and on to the video. Thank you to that message from our sponsors. Like I said, I'm Lamar Townsend and I am available for readings. I'm a psychic, a tarot reader, an energy channeler, and an astrologer. So I do do natal chart, birth chart readings. I also do psychic tarot readings. So check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. The link should be up here somewhere to purchase your reading from me. Follow, follow me also on my TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook at Lamar Townsend Tarot. Make sure, of course, you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and when you subscribe, hit the notifications button. And when you hit the notifications button, make sure you hit all notifications, which means you'll get all notifications every time I go live or upload a brand new video. Also, make sure you check out my second channel on YouTube, Vimeo.com. Um, all right, so Vimeo.com slash Lamar Townsend Tarot is where you can find exclusive and extra content that I don't post on my YouTube, um, which part two of this reading, if there is a part two, will be on Vimeo, most likely. But also, if you're a member of my YouTube channel and if you want to become a member, make sure, once again, you hit the join button down there to become a member and um, you can get also exclusive access to content such as part two of this reading that the regular public will not have access to. So if, part, if there's a part two of this reading, which most likely there will be, it will be in the comment section below as to where you can watch that, all right, or in the description box. So in this video, I will be talking about Scream 5. Now, there is not technically a Scream 5 yet, but there are rumors about a Scream 5 um, in the works. Uh, Nev Campbell has been talking a lot about it. I think Matthew Lillard has talked about it. So there's a lot of rumors and, and murmurings about a potential Scream 5 coming up. The last Scream that they made was back in 2011, which was almost 10 years ago. Can you guys believe that? When the last Scream came out, I was 19 years old. I'm now 28. I was 19 years old, and I think I actually got to see it in theaters. Because I didn't get to see the first three in theaters because I was too young. So that was a pretty exciting experience for me. And I happened to like all four of the Screams. But Scream 5, um, all four of the Screams, the potential, the pre previous Screams, were directed by Wes Craven. Now, Wes Craven was kind of the mastermind behind Scream. So it's like without Wes Craven, what will it become? How will it, you know, be moving forward? I do believe that one of the original screenwriters is still on board, which is, I believe, Kevin Williamson. Um, and the re only reason why I know all of this is because I'm actually a big horror movie fan. One of my dreams is actually to star in a horror movie, but not just any more horror movie, like a really good horror movie like Scream or something like that, or, you know, a really, really classic horror movie. I don't know. It's just a dream of mine. But with that being said, let's go ahead. I want to see what's going on with Scream 5. Will it happen? Will it come into fruition? Let's just get into the tea and see what's going on with Scream 5. Oh, wait. I have to cleanse the cards. Or I cleanse my energy. I'm not pulling cards in this video. 
Why do I always do that? I think because I do both on a daily basis. That's probably why. Alright, thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this space for any past readings. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you for cleansing my energy. Thank you for opening up the channel so that I can get a good reading on Scream 5 and what's going on with that and the potential of Scream 5 and what it would look like and anything you would like me to see. In the name of Jesus, thank you for being my mouthpiece. Thank you for speaking through me, Father God. Thank you for protecting those who are watching this video, protecting their thoughts, their mind, their energy, their spaces, as well as my thoughts, my mind, my energy, my space. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. <clears throat> okay. Scream five. Okay. This is gonna make me scream. This right here. Smoke all in the camera. Okay. Technical difficulties. Camera check, okay. Or a mirror check. Sorry about that. Okay, you know how like flies have like those weird textured eyes where it's like a really, really low quality video looking thing where it's like the pixels are all circles and you can't totally make out what the like screen looks like? Or what the video looks like, like, or what's even going on in the video. Like, there's HD, 1080p, 14, 1400, and beyond, and 240, and then there's, like, 140p, like, I'm seeing, like, 140p, like, fly, like, but looking through the eyes of a fly. So, this is quite interesting, because it's almost like I'm a fly in the room, alright? But, I can't see what exactly is going on in the room, because I'm looking in the room through the eyes of the fly. So, metaphorically speaking, one, I feel like I'm kind of being blocked because there's, it's the early stages of this, of this movie, and I feel, I hear secrecy, so there's a lot of secrecy around this, too. Like, I feel like Nev knows more than, like, I feel like a lot of the people who are speaking out, like, in the cast and people in general are, who are speaking out about Scream 5 know more than they're letting on about actually it manifesting and coming into fruition. So, um, but also I feel like it's in the early stages because I'm a fly in the room. I can't see exactly, like, the, the defin like the, the definition is not clear at all. So I feel like it, that tells me it's in the early stages of, it's, it's like an infancy. That's what I feel. Um, there's many different directions Scream 5 could go in. I don't know why I feel like there's a potential for, like, there to be, like, supernatural elements. Or talk to supernatural elements like witchcraft and, you know, like bringing something back from the dead. Like, I feel like that, I pick up that energy, but bringing out back something from the dead could also mean that maybe past um, cast members who died are bringing brought back from the dead, meaning they're being cast potentially in this movie. But I don't know why I pick up something about, like, witchcraft, which would be, like, an interesting take on the screen movies. Interesting. Um, I hear test run, so I definitely see them going through the test run phase. But everything I'm seeing is such a low quality, low, like, low quality. So it's in the infancy, it's in the, it's in the initial beginning stages. Um... I do see a Scream 5 being made, though, eventually. Like, it may take a while for it to be made and then for it to come out. Because I, I get two to four, so that could be two to four years. Definitely, maybe two to four months, but it may come out within a two to four year time span. That's what I feel. Because I feel like they're also going to take their time with it. Because I, I don't know why I hear this, but what they don't want to happen with the Scream series... Like, they don't want to happen to the Scream series what happened to the Halloween series. Like, there's a couple gems in Halloween, but then there's some really large outliers, including Rob Zombie's 
Halloween, where it just kind of effed up the legacy. I feel like they're very protective of the legacy of Scream. Like, it's a very serious film. It's a very serious budget. It's a very serious project. That's what I feel. And many people in Hollywood are not taking it lightly. Especially with Wes Craven gone. But I feel like there's going to be a desire to want everyone from the original cast to come back. Meaning the grips, the PAs, you know, like the people behind the scenes as well. That's what I feel. I do see Courtney Cox making a return. And I do see Dewey, David Arquette, making a return. Like, I think... Them and Never going to make a return. I don't know why I see Hayden Panettiere also possibly making a return. Yeah, I see Hayden. I'm seeing her. I don't know why I see potentially Emma Roberts making a return too. Or I see her. Remember I said though was something about witchcraft and bringing back something from the dead. I don't know what that means, but... But I think she died in the last one. I don't know. I don't know, I see the past returning. Like, I see definitely Nev and all of them returning, but I also see some other elements, some other people returning to the film, to the genre. The genre. Like, maybe someone we thought was dead was not actually dead. Or something like that. I don't Very interesting. Um. Whoa. I don't know why I just saw Nev wearing the ghost face mask. Like Sydney wearing the ghost face mask. I just saw that. I don't know what I mean. I don't know what that could mean. It could mean she's a killer or the killer. Or it could mean that she is wearing it to psych out the killer somehow. Like, I, I don't know. I see something like that where it's like a... It's kind of a mind F. Like, I feel like Scream 5 is going to be the type of movie where you don't know where it's going to go next. Like, every minute, every, like, 30 minutes, or, like, you know, every second is, like, a new plot twist. So, there's going to be a lot of plot twists, I feel, in Scream 5. And, like, the element of who done it, like, who is, who is really the killer, like, that's going to be played up a lot. Like, we're really not going to know who the killer is or who the killer could be. Like, there's going to be so many suspects. And I feel like the story's going to work in such a way that, like, every... Because, you know, Scream, like, one of the things is, like, everyone's a suspect, right? In this film, literally everyone is a suspect. That's what I feel in Scream 5. Even Sydney is a suspect. Like, even... Dewey and Gale are suspects, but I don't know, I don't really see Dewey and Gale being, like... I don't know, I don't see... Like, they, they're suspects, but I feel like Sydney's more suspect than them. I don't know what I mean by that, but that's what I feel for Scream 5. Hayden's even a suspect in, like, Scream 5 if she returns, like I'm seeing. Wow. That would be crazy. Um, I don't know why I see, like, I'm seeing an image of Rain. And, like, I'm seeing Sydney look out into, like, look outside. Like, and she's looking through the glass and, like, the rain. Like, we, like, see her looking out in the rain and, and then we look at her face. And, like, the, it, like the, the, the shadow of the rain is, like, on her face. It's dark. I don't know what, why I'm, like, seeing this image. Maybe this will be, like, a shot in the movie or something like that. But, um, this is a, quite an interesting reading actually but I don't know why I feel like Sydney could possibly be like a suspect in the, in the next movie I think I think I'm gonna stick to that unless they like see this and they're like oh we gotta change it I'm gonna stick to that I'm gonna stick to that this is all alleged by the way for entertainment purposes only okay but I do feel that I do feel that when it comes to Sydney. 
Like, but remember I was saying something about plot twists. Like, there's gonna be, a like, some major plot twists. Like, I see at least four major plot tw twists are gonna be in Scream 5. One of them is, like, any anyone could be a suspect. Like, everyone has a motive for doing whatever is happening in terms of the overall arching story of Scream 5. And I think... There's gonna be more than one killer, but there's gonna be one major killer. I feel cult energy too. Like a Jim Jones kind of thing, where like, you know, like someone's poisoned everyone's minds to become like a, or even like a Charles Manson thing. We're gonna pick up that energy. And you know what's so, oh my gosh. Speaking of freaking Charles Manson, didn't Roman Polanski create Rosemary's Baby, which conspiracy theorists kind of consider that like there was witchcraft involved with the whole Charles Manson thing. Remember I was saying something about witchcraft. There's something weird going on that I'm picking up, like, about Scream 5. It's gonna be different from the rest of the Screams, I feel like, Scream 5. It's gonna be different from the rest of the Screams. It's going to take a- it's gonna have a different take on- There's gonna- definitely gonna be elements of, of it where it's, like, very- And I feel like there may be a major actual director that takes over for Wes Craven. Because I don't know why I just saw Quentin Tarantino. If I'm wrong, I'll take it. But, I, like, I feel like either, like, I see him or someone on par with him is going to be, like, a potential director. But it's going to be a different take on screen. Like, there are going to be elements of it. I don't think it's going to be, like, a, like, no shade to Rob Zombie. But I don't think it's going to be that of a drastic change from, like, like, you know, the whole Halloween thing comparison. But I feel like it's just a different, like... I'll say this, like, Scream 5, if they continue on with this series without Wes Craven, Scream 5 from however other many Screams they make will stand alone as their own kind of series era, and Scream 1 through 4 will stand alone on its, its, its own era, you know, as a part of the Scream series, because it, that was specifically directed by Wes Craven. Like, that era of Scream. This is like a new era of Scream. That's what I feel. So thank you for listening and watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, share with your friends and family, keep in touch with me on my social media, at Lamar Townsend Tarot on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. And remember, if you want a personal reading from me, check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com to get a reading from me. Speaking of readings, I've got to go. i got to get some readings. I've got some readings to do. I have two back-to-back, -back, one at 9 and one at 10, and they're both hour-long readings. So I need to eat. I need to upload this video. I have another reading I have to do for another client. I'm a busy guy. But I love doing this reading. Part 2 will be on Vimeo and as well for members only. So if you want to become a member, hit the join button so you can watch this video exclusively. Um, and if you want to watch it on Vimeo, remember my Vimeo, which will also be in the comment section below in the description box, is V-I-M-E-O dot com slash Lamar Townsend Tarot, spelled just like my YouTube name, Lamar with two R's. Love and light. I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you for your own personal reading. Either way, I'll see you soon. Stay blessed.